Hi, Tracy here. I'm all dressed to blue and it's a good day to wear blue and pick some blueberries. Let me show you my berries. That's one of my tall bush blueberry plants that I got to get picking and I'm going to be doing some gardening picking as well. So Today's a stay at home and do some chores day. I caught Josh doing the lawn. So right here's one of my broccolis. Look at that. Pretty cool. And my zucchini is all doing great. Lots of blooms, lots coming. Tomatoes popped. Look at this zucchini plant. It's doing great over here. Nice huge zucchini plant. The pepper plants are taking off too. These ones are hot ones. Ooh. Might have to do a pepper eating challenge. Those are friggin' hot ones. Okay. Let's get picking. I already started. We got some peas and beans. Let's see. Peppers. Oh, there's some green ones. Not ready to be picked, but have a look over here. Hey guys, don't mind my weeds this year. It's been a struggle, but that's fact of gardening. Anyway, check out this pepper. We're going to pick. Cool. Nice one. And two. Oh, and three. Nope, took some plant with that one. We'll let that one grow. We'll let those green peppers grow. Let's see what else we can find to pick. Let's go back over to this pepper row. Ooh, we'll pick these ones. Ooh, I think those are hot. Oh, there's some more. We'll let those ones grow for now. That's a broccoli coming. I get excited for broccoli because I don't grow it too often. So we'll keep you on tabs with this one. These ones aren't showing anything quite yet. Soon. The cucumbers really took off. I have to tie some of them up today. Basically a day of picking and maintenance in the garden. Oh, found a bean, I forgot. We'll pick that. So this plant looks a little bit sad. I 
been having a bit of a bug issue if you see the leaf has been eaten a little bit so when I see that I pick a leaf and I feed it to the chickens so they can eat the bugs that are on it some dill ready to go just waiting for cucumbers make some pickles one day set this down show you some of my herbs some basil big bushel of oregano and thyme I believe and more pepper plants This is eggplant. I did have one growing, but I had to toss it into the compost bin because unfortunately it just was rotting. So it touched the ground and something might've got into it, but you know what? That's okay. These plants are very pretty and the leaves are nice and soft. No eggplants showing. Do some picking. Do some carrot picking. Gonna make a nice salad for supper tonight. So we'll do some celery. Some carrots. Some greens. Swiss chard, look at that kale, so right here guys this is nasturtiums, I'm not great at pronouncing some stuff, but you can eat the flowers and the greens, so can the rabbit and the chickens, so I think this is just a beautiful pot in the garden and fully edible. From the greens to the flowers. The flowers have a little bit of a peppery taste, so they're these. I chop them up a little bit fine when I put them in a salad. But isn't that gorgeous? It's a hot day today, so I'm gonna start doing some more picking. Let's pick some carrots. I just need a few for their salad tonight. Got more greens again. A little bunch right here. Oh. Well, the rabbit will get the greens. So yeah, I should have thinned my carrots a little bit more. But sometimes it's neat to see all the shapes they come in. Pick another handful. The rabbit will get these greens. Oh, nice. Look at that neat one. I wonder if there's a rock in the way. That's neat. All right, let's try one more. Oh, nice. I want to talk to you about something about gardening that's not always fun, pests. I tried to keep the garden as organic as possible and not use pesticides and stuff and I do struggle sometimes. This year, I'm struggling with potato bugs. I planted this beautiful row of potatoes. A whole big row. Unfortunately, I have had some potato bugs eat some of my plants. So what is a potato bug? 
what does it do? It's a pest. And you can squash them, you can collect them, you can, you could put pesticides all over your potatoes to help take care of them. I choose not to do that, so I just kind of deal with the pests as they come. So right now I'll show you a nice healthy plant and then I'll show you one that's kind of been taken over by pests and maybe I'll find a pest to show you just to let you know that they're not fun. Anyway, here's a nice healthy potato plant right here. Pretty healthy, Couple, you can tell a couple little pests have eaten some of it. Okay, so not too bad. That one looks really good. But let's come on over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might have got eaten. Yep, that one got eaten. All right, let's come over here. See if we can find a culprit. Hmm. I know I saw some this morning. Well... I'd say this one's full of pests. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO! So also, potatoes flower, but I always pick the flowers off. Because then it'll direct the energy. As gorgeous as those flowers are. Directs the energy back to the, the potatoes which are under the ground. Looking for a pest for you. I guess they're not too bad right now. It's still early in the day. Or they noticed I was out and flew away. Oh, there's one. There's our culprit. Bum, bum. So with that said, I'm not sure how the potato harvest is going to go this year. I'll keep on squishing them until I give up and harvest my potatoes. Thanks for watching.